friends, greetings, and welcome to The Bright Side, your nutritional program dedicated to the understanding of the vast world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. I'm your host, pharmacist Ben, nutritional pharmacist from Boulder, Colorado. I use nutritional supplements in my practice where other healthcare practitioners use toxic pharmaceutical drugs and sometimes deadly medical procedures. If you suspect that there are natural nutritional roads to your vitality and health and well-being and to addressing your health challenges, whatever they may be, but you don't know where to begin, you have come to the right place. As you listen to The Bright Side every day, you are more and more in control of your body. You are more and more knowledgeable, and you know you can overcome any health issue. That's why we're here every day on The Bright Side, helping clear up the sometimes confusing world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. Over the last 29 years of practicing pharmacy, I have seen drug-free recoveries from diabetes and hypertension and obesity and skin diseases like psoriasis, eczema, rosacea, acne, digestive ailments, autoimmune issues of all kinds, recoveries that by the standards of modern medicine can only be called a miracle, but what is in the world of the body, what is in the world of biology, standard operating procedure. Because the human biological system is a healing system, a regenerating system designed divinely to heal and renew itself on a moment-to-moment basis. And while some folks may call that a miracle, it really is simply the way the body works. If you have questions about health, nutrition, or prescription drugs, if you want to wean yourself off your meds and get on a good nutritional supplement program, we are here for you. We want to change your life today. We want to help you change the lives of your friends, loved ones, workmates, anyone you know on a prescription drug or interacting with the medical model or anyone you know that seems to be getting sicker by the day, no matter how much doctoring or drugs they're on, we want to help you change your life and help you change their life as well. 844-236-6010 is our number on the bright side. Try to call in early so we can get to all our calls. Hate leaving people on hold, which we invariably do. So 844-236-6010 is our number. And please call in early. If you have questions about the longevity products, the longevity business, and if you have a success story, we love hearing success stories. Or if you just want to contribute to the conversation, 844-236-6010 is our number. If you have questions or comments or success stories about our truth treatment products, love to hear from you as well. Our truth balm, truth serum, truth omega-6 healing cream, and truth retinol gel, 5% retinol gel. Sold hundreds of them in the last uh, eight months. So I know you're out there, and I know I get the letters, so love to hear success story on the air. 844-236-6010 is our number, and if you want to purchase any of the longevity products you hear advertised on the program or recommended on the program, please call the Brightside Ben phone team at 866-735-2470 or check out my blog, criticalhealthnews.com, pharmacistben.com, or you can also go to brightsideben.com, order products right off the website, and sign up to join the Brightside Ben team and help me in my mission to educate the planet about how important important a good nutritional supplement program can be, how life-changing a good nutritional supplement program can be. All right, so we have been talking about the systemic nature of all disease, how disease occurs in the system of the body, how it's all connected, everything in the body. If you have a chronic degenerative disease, a CDD, as they call them, the disease that worsens, a disease that doesn't heal, a disease that doesn't get better. If your doctor has told you you're going to be on this drug the rest of your life, you've got a chronic degenerative health crisis. And that, because of the way the body is, is constructed, because of the way the body is configured, how everything is connected to everything else, by, making, by taking a few simple steps, you can affect the entire body. This is the beauty of this, the, the nature of the body as a system. The problem with the nature of the body as a system is you don't just have one problem. If you have Alzheimer's, you've got blood sugar problems, you've got digestive problems, you've got inflammatory problems. On the other hand, because it's all connected by simply taking a couple of steps, you can completely eliminate your chronic degenerative disease by simply controlling your blood sugar. You can completely eliminate numerous, numerous, what they call in the medical world sequelae. That's things that follow one issue. So your blood glucose, your blood sugar gets messed up, you end up with dementia, and you end up with blood pressure issues, and you end up with obesity issues, and you end up with kidney disease, all from the one problem. These subsequent conditions that follow the one problem are called sequelae. That's the fancy name. What it means is conditions that follow one underlying issue. The only thing a doctor can do is risk manage. They, the doctors are, and hospitals and, and the healthcare system is about managing disease. It's about risk management. They're never going to reverse it. 
they will never reverse a chronic degenerative disease with the surgeries and drugs and the strategies of the medical model. Cancer, Alzheimer's, diabetes, heart disease, the leading causes of death. These are chronic long-term degenerative diseases that the healthcare system, the health model that we spend so much money on trillions of dollars on can do nothing about. Doctors will say, oh, you're going to be on this drug the rest of your life. They'll say it's idiopathic. Your, your health issue is idiopathic. That means we have no idea what causes it. Or they'll say it's a normal part of aging. Your fatty liver disease and your messed up blood sugar, this is just part of aging. Your cancer, that's just part of aging. They'll say we can never prevent or eliminate diabetes, never prevent or eliminate Alzheimer's, never prevent or eliminate psoriasis. Acne. They say this all the time. What kind of system is this? Well, it, first of all, we have to understand that they say this because they can't prevent or eliminate or reverse disease with their tools, with their strategies, with their protocols. There's no medical protocols for diabetes to, to reverse diabetes. There's no medical tools to reverse Alzheimer's or acne. Are we, why are we satisfied with this? And why are there no medical tools? Because these aren't doctor issues. Acne's not a doctor issue. There's nothing a dermatologist can do for acne except take care of the zits once they're there. There's nothing a doctor can do for heart disease or diabetes. These are not medical concerns. That's why. Medicine steals these concerns for profit margin. It steals these concerns from our life, from our lifestyle. It steals these concerns from our decisions. It steals these concerns from our control and turns them into a profit center. And then we're hypnotized, entranced through all kinds of marketing techniques, some of the sneakiest brain manipulation techniques you can think of through commercials and re repetition and hypnosis. We're hypnotized to comply, to always do what our doctor tells us to do. I'm telling you guys, I've been working with doctors and I don't mean to rip on any individual doctors. It's the model. The stupid things I hear from the, the mouths of the representative of the medical models are mind-blowing. And we still comply. And we still uh, obey our orders. My doctor told me. This is why drug costs and medical costs and hospital costs and health care costs never go down. Because we're hypnotized. We'll pay whatever. It's like Donald Trump saying, you know, my people are so loyal, I could shoot, I could shoot somebody on Fifth Avenue, they'll still vote for me. The doctor says, could say the same thing. The health care, uh, the medical model can say the same thing. My people are so loyal, our patients are so loyal, they'll buy any drug we tell them no matter what happens. Oh, yeah, I feel like crap, but my doctor told me I have to take this. I get questions all the time about statin drugs and about thyroid drugs. I don't feel better. I feel like crap. Do I have to... Still keep taking this. Well, I can't answer that question. You know, you got to make that decision yourself. I sure wouldn't take it. I could tell you that. Did you ever hear of a hospital or a drug company going out of business or having a sale or lowering their prices? Can you imagine a, a drug manufacturer saying, We have decided to discontinue all of our diabetes drugs because the pharmacomedical strategies of drugging people to lower their blood sugar has cured the disease. We have now eliminated diabetes because our genius doctors and brilliant drug research scientists have, have cured the problem. They came up with a pill and no more diabetes. Of course they're not going to say that because reversing and preventing diseases is not the goal of medicine. Maintaining, I, that alone is all you need to see to be so ticked off that you want to hurt somebody, don't hurt somebody. But it ticks you off. Why would you maintain a disease? That's what they do. They maintain it. They manage it. You know why? Because it's a gravy train. And our hard-earned dollars, not to mention our illness and our misery, that's the gravy. From the Wall Street Journal, rising drug costs to be in focus at a congressional hearing. Good luck with that. They're doing a congressional hearing to find out about why drug costs are so high. I'll tell you why they're high. Because you've got predators everywhere. Wall Street Journal. Unbelievable. All right, I'm Pharmacist Ben. 844-236-6010 is our number. All right, we're back on the bright side. I am Pharmacist Ben. We're on the air Monday through Friday, 8 to 9 Pacific and 10 to 11 Central Time, 24-7 on our archive page. Pages at brightsideben.com, also benfuchsarchives.com. You can search the archive pages as well. 
thank you to Peter in the UK for setting up BenFuchsArchives.com. You can also check out my blog, PharmacistBen.com and CriticalHealthNews.com, or go to TruthTreatments.com and check out my skin health blog and also my Facebook page, The Truth with Ben. Uh, we blog, I blog uh, skincare, skincare topics on both of those sites, The Truth with Ben and TruthTreatments.com. You can purchase Truth Treatments, Truth Treatment products off TruthTreatments.com as well. And if you want to purchase any of the longevity products you hear advertised on the program, you can go to brightsideben.com, criticalhealthnews.com, or pharmacistben.com, or call the team, the phone team, at 866-735-2470. Our number here today on the Bright Side, 844-236-6010. We'll get you your number. We'll get your calls at the bottom of the hour, 844-236-6010. So at the Wall Street Journal, according to the Wall Street Journal, there's going to be a congressional hearing on rising drug costs. So that's going to do a lot of good. What do you think what do you think's going to happen there? You know the funny thing is about all of these complaints about drug costs is they never ask the ultimate most important question is why the heck do we need the drugs in the first place? They just assume. That's a sneaky little trick. You just assume and then you move forward. It's like the presidential election. We just assume we need a federal government and then we decide who's going to lead it. We just assume that we need prescription drugs and then we decide uh, whether they are overpriced or, or whether we're being gouged. Of course, we're being gouged. Rising costs to be in focus at congressional hearing. Guess what? Lobbyists spent 180 million, over 179 million dollars, almost 180 million dollars last year in lobbying, in bribing. That's basically what lobbying is. It's a it's a, a more genteel way of bribing somebody. You take them to dinner, or you buy them whatever you buy them. What do, I don't even know. What, are the, what, is, what do these dollars go for when they talk about $170 million in lobbying? Where, what does that mean? Where does that money go? Dinner? Drinks? Trips? Uh, what, is, what do you do with $179 million? And that's just last year. That's, that's got to be a billion dollars over the last four or five years. This is what Obama cares about. It's not about us. It's about screwing the public. It's about screwing us. Oh, where does the $179 million come from that they use to screw us? It comes from us, <laughs> from the public, from price costs, from, from drug costs. We're paying drug companies and crooked politicians, self-serving crooked politicians to screw us. How obnoxious in your face can you get? But you know what, guys? It doesn't matter because at the end of the day, we're talking lifestyle issues, choice issues for the most part. When we talk about chronic degenerative disease, we're talking about just making a few choices, a few moves because the body's all, all the components of the body are interconnected. So just by making a few moves, a few different choices, we can change everything. Food decisions, supplement decisions, sleep decisions, mental and emotional decisions, choices, how we operate our minds, how we operate our feelings, our spiritual connection, our connection to the divine force, whatever you want to call it, our, our uh, choices we make about rest, choices we make about the foods we eat, choices we make about supplements we take. These are all things we can do ourselves. And because of the interconnected nature of the body, every single health marker will improve when we make better choices. This interconnection of the body, of the components, can be leveraged. It can be taken advantage of. We can leverage the networking, the networking nature, networked nature of the body for our own benefit. A few strategic moves, and we can create dramatic changes. Understanding this interconnection, learning to leverage strategic moves, taking strategic actions. You know, it's not just it, it's not just fun and games. It's a matter of life or death. Our choices are killing us. Our choices are making our choices can make us better, or our choices can kill us. We don't need doctors, and I'm guilty of ripping on doctors, ripping on the medical model. But you know what? We don't need them. We don't need them, aside from being stitched up, or maybe giving us a little advice, counseling us, maybe teaching. Maybe doctors should be teaching. Doctor, doctrine. It comes from education. A doctor used to be a teacher, or should be. Teach us, maybe. Educate us. That's it. We don't need you to fix us. That's, our, that's in our ballpark. That's on, our, that's on us. That's on our backs. What we eat, how we breathe, how we think, how we emote, how we rest, these are the master steps. 
If I'm missing something, you guys, call me up. Let me know. What am I missing here? This seems so self-evident to me. It seems so obvious to me. If you're seeing something that I'm missing, I'd love to hear from, from you. 844-236-6010. If there's one health challenge that is the quintessential example of how easy it is to reverse and control the development of disease, it's diabetes, a leading cause of health misery, maybe the leading cause of health misery after digestive issues. And it's an issue that I get more letters about than anything else. And I love diabetes because it's so easy. It's such a, it's such a beautiful way to exemplify or to model how simple it is to reverse disease. Blood sugar is flexible. It changes with how we eat. It changes with how we supplement. It changes with our nutrition. It changes with our stress levels. Blood sugar is so simple to control. Diabetes is insulin resistance disease, type 2 diabetes. Insulin resistance disease. I'm not talking about type 1 now, although that you can deal with that too. But type 2 diabetes is insulin resistance disease, which by definition tells you if you can eliminate insulin resistance, you won't have the disease. In other words, if you can resensitize the cells to insulin, your diabetes will go away. If you can make the cells more sensitive to the hormone insulin, your diabetes will, by definition, go away. That's the only thing we need to know. Are there any drugs that do it? No. There's drugs that can force your body to make more insulin. There's drugs that can force your body to dump out more glucose. There's drugs that can force cells to do whatever they want them to force cells to do, but that's not going to help your diabetes, and that's why nobody gets cured of diabetes by a doctor. But you know what? Dr. Wallach has done it. I don't want to say Dr. Wallach is on it. Scratch that. We've done it through things that Dr. Wallach has said or that I've said. Because it's in the body's nature to heal. If we can resensitize our insulin, resensitize our cells to insulin, and we can go from insulin resistance to insulin sensitivity, no more diabetes. It's as simple as that. Which means if you're serious about reversing your type 2 diabetes or your metabolic syndrome, the stuff that comes after the blood sugar gets messed up. That is Alzheimer's disease and kidney disease and skin problems and uh, 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 fatigue and high blood pressure and heart disease. These are all the things that follow, that follow uh, dysglycemia, messed up blood sugar. If you're serious about reversing your type 2 diabetes or your metabolic syndrome, I'm telling you now, all you need to ask or do, you need to figure out, how do I resensitize my insulin? That's it, folks. One thing, one thing, and we can do it ourselves. And if we do it effectively, we will have eliminated the third leading cause of death, maybe the first leading cause of death in this country, just like that, gone forever. Is that simple? Yes, because health is simple. They always, when I do a talk, when I do a presentation, I'm always asked, what, do I, what, what is the topic of your talk? What are you going to title it? I always say, health is simple. It is, you guys, it is. This is such good news. This is the bright side. This is the good news that says no matter what your chronic degenerative disease is, you can fix it yourself. And I think that is so darn exciting. 844-236-6010 is our number. Give me a call if you've got questions about health, nutrition, or prescription drugs. We want to help you change your life today. We're coming back on the bright side right after this. All right, we are back on the bright side. I'm pharmacist Ben. 844-236-6010 is our number. If you have questions about health or nutrition or prescription drugs, we want to hear from you. If you want to change your life or change the lives of life of a loved one or family member or workmate, we can help you do that. 844-236-6010 is our number. And if you have a success story you'd like to share, or if you just want to contribute to the conversation, if you if you think I'm missing something here, I'd love to hear what I'm missing because I can't figure it out. It seems very, very straightforward. If you got an issue, a health challenge that isn't getting better, a chronic degenerative disease, the chances are pretty darn good it's something you're doing every day on a regular basis. And I, it seems obvious to me. If it's progressively getting worse, it means we're doing something over and over and over again. Well, what's the definition of doing something over and over again and expecting different results? Insanity, as you know. Do you know the best-selling drug, or the most widely prescribed drug, I should say, in this country is Synthroid or generic Synthroid, generic thyroid drug? Why? Because we have an epidemic of, of uh, thyroid disease. Why? Because everything is thyroid disease or hypothyroidism. Everything. Chronic degenerative disease is always preceded by and always leads to. It's a circle. It's preceded by and it leads to 
hypothyroid issues. It's preceded by hypothyroidism, and it leads to more hypothyroidism, which leads to more chronic degenerative disease. And unless your doctor has been listening to the bright side, he has no idea why this is. But you do, if you've been listening, because we've been telling you for years. First, the digestive system gets whacked out. Then the blood sugar system gets whacked out. And then the thyroid, and the adrenal thyroid, I should say, the adrenal thyroid complex get whacked out, and then you're off to the disease races. And the disease itself causes more hypothyroidism, which leads to more chronic degenerative disease. But the beginnings of it are the digestive system and the blood sugar system always. It doesn't matter what your doctor told you about your blood sugar. If you have a CDD, a chronic degenerative disease, you have dysglycemia and a messed up digestive system pretty much by definition, which is the best news anybody with a health challenge can hear because who controls our blood sugar? Who controls our digestive system? We do. Simple as that, folks. Tomorrow we'll continue talking about inflammation and microinflammation as we continue talking about fats and the lymph, the fatty system of the body and the steroid system of the body and even the skin, which we haven't really talked about here lately, but we'll continue in the coming days on the Bright Side. 844-236-6010 is our number. Let's go to Michigan. What's up, John? Welcome to the Bright Side. I wasn't calling about diabetes, but there's a gentleman in your state, Tom Smith, at Loveland, Colorado. He has a website, HealingMatters.com, and he gives a whole history of uh, uh, diabetes because he was told to go home and die, and he did the research and cured himself. Nice. He said that uh, he says the Orthodox medical community cannot afford to cure this disease. It's a, for, a financial backbone of the entire Orthodox medical establishment. He is absolutely right on. I haven't heard of this guy. Healing. What, tell me the website again. Healing matters.com he's in lovely awesome. california uh, colorado Healing. i will reach out, i'll reach out to him thank you for everyone should read this whole thing because i'll really expose it it originated as an epidemic in the 1920s but it go on but i was calling about this uh, methotrexate that my mother-in-law was on. awful 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 drug one of the worst and there's well, a lot of it bad ended up killing her and the family sued and, and got a settlement from the doctor uh, really was, yes uh, this was uh, your mom? This was your mom, my you said? Mother -in -law. Your mother in law. And what, now tell, can I ask you a couple questions here? What, uh, what was she taking, the, what was she given the methotrexate for? Oh, of course, it's the rheumatoid arthritis. Rheumatoid, great. And, and so and, for the listeners, that, let me just tell the listeners real quick. For the listeners, methotrexate is a drug that kills cells, period. It's chemotherapy, it's used to kill cells, to kill cancer cells, but it'll kill any cell. Why they give it to you for rheumatoid is because it kills the immune system cells. So you don't have an immune problem, which is what rheumatoid is. It's the most, it, there's a lot of deadly toxic drugs at near or even maybe at the top of the list is methotrexate. Go ahead, well, I'm sorry. The, why I, I brought that up is because your audience has to hear this, that Glenn Fry's uh, died of complications from the medication. Uh, his manager came out and says that for 15 years he's been taking this. What has he been taking? Methotrexate? To manage his, uh, to manage. No, no, what, what drug? I, it didn't say they call them DMARDs or biologic. They may make it sound like it's a really good thing, biologic. It was a biologic they were giving him for 15 years, like Humira yeah. or something like that? Well, there's Remicade, Embro. Yeah, yeah. Uh, right, right, and, right. And, and they all have these, uh, that, uh, it says, uh, these side effects, uh, uh, there's no benefit to the drug, but they, they end up with the issue. Uh, uh, it slows the progression, but it doesn't. So it doesn't even slow. System. It stops the inflammation and the immune system. It shuts down immunity. It's the standard operating procedure from the medical model when it comes to immune diseases. Shut down the immune system. I was talking to a gal. I got a call from Israel yesterday from a gal who had ulcerative colitis, and she was given prednisone. And so I taught, I, she didn't know, I was telling her the whole thing, she, you know, other countries, they don't necessarily know some of the stuff we know, and she never hadn't heard about the immune system and anti-inflammatories and anti-immunity. So I told her, I said, they're suppressing your defense system. And I gave her a metaphor. I said, what if, what if an Arab country attacked, uh, your, uh, attacked Israel? You know, you got all these other countries that are attacking you. What if they, an Arab country attacked Israel and the prime minister said, okay, army, you're going to stand down now. Okay, defense department, you're going to stand down now. So there won't be any war. Of course there won't be any war because there's only one side fighting. But that's not going to help you. That's not going to help the problem. If you tell the Defense Department to stand down, she finally understood it because I put it in that, fr in that framework. And it's really that simple. If the body's being attacked, it will inflame. You can shut down the inflammation artificially, but the body's still being attacked. You haven't done anything about the attack. And that's the problem. We disguise the causes, and then we go ahead and do what we're told. 
and, and then we pay the price, like Glenn Fry. And I'm not surprised that you I, – I didn't know that. I hadn't heard that, John. Thank you for sharing that. But I'm not surprised that the drugs uh, uh, killed him, or at least uh, at least his manager thinks that. Anyway, anything else, John? Yes. Uh, uh, a friend of mine, his wife was killed by uh, – or you know, she died from excessive prednisone. Or, her, her calcium was depleted. Uh, but what, what has to be uh, uh, exposed – folks out there that are taking these drugs is none of these doctors link uh, diet to any of these conditions, which is disgusting. They think it's a joke. They think you're a yeah, wacko. You're a health right. nut it, wacko. It, and so your diet is critical. And, and um, again, I brought up Jordan Rubin last week. Uh, he cured himself yes. of the same symptoms and, yes. and conditions with uh, kefir, uh, which is yes. a fermented uh, milk and right. also your, your fermented sauerkraut. Your stomach is uh, your most important, like you always say. The, the uh, intestine. Defense. The intestine, the digestive tract. And these intestine. doctors do not touch it at all. Uh, now the oncologists, they won't take the chemo, but they give it, and they don't talk diet at all. So <laughs> Glenn Fry's death should have opened the eyes to everybody with this rheumatoid and start questioning your doctors yes. and colitis and get this di- your, your digestive system healed first before you try to do anything else. Wise words, John. Thank you so much for your call. Appreciate it. Healingmatters.com. Take care, brother. Thank you. All right, uh, Francis. What's up? Francis in Washington. Welcome to the Bright Side. Yes, I, uh, let's see, 30 days ago yesterday, I had a quadruple bypass. Okay. Five days later, I came home on New Year's Day, and he gives me this whole packet of drugs. (laughs) So I'm going through them here. How many? One of them. And one is called is it Senna or something. Senna, S E N N A. Yes, and that's the other lot, one. That's is actually called, an herb. Okay, the other one is called Coreg. Coreg, yeah. You know what? Uh, we got to take a break. Can you hang on? Hang on yeah, to the break, okay? We'll get you when we come back. I'm Farms to Spend. You're listening to the Bright Side. 844 236 6010 is our number. We'll take a break and come back with uh, more of your phone calls and, uh, and uh, Francis in Washington as well. Don't go away. Welcome back to the Bright Side. I'm Pharmacist Ben. We're in Washington talking to Francis. Uh, Francis, Senna and Coreg was the last thing you said. Yeah, for, uh, quad bypass yeah, surgery. You sound good. Anyway. You sound good, though. You sound, uh, you sound like you've got some strength there. Uh, Coreg and uh, Senna, and then what, you want to continue telling me the drugs? or? Do you have, do you have, well, one's Lipitor, one's aspirin, one's Oxycontin. And I do my usual research, and one of these, the first paragraph, first three sentences, causes renal failure, extreme liver damage, and okay. has something about death. More than likely the well, Coreg. That's a beta blocker. Okay, so I scroll down a little bit, and, you know, you got the little thing on the side there that tells you when you're at the bottom of the page or whatever. I'm not a third of the way down. Here's the exact same warning again for the same drug. You know, Francis, is this absurd? I mean, it's it's tragic. It's absurd. And you got to turn your radio down, though. i got a terrible echo, Francis. Uh, The radio's not on. It's off. Oh, it's not on. Okay, well, maybe. So anyway, and I'm just thinking, you know, I'm lucky to get out of the hospital without staff without anything else, whatever. Right. So, and I never get zits. I came home, I had 35 zits from my waist to my scapula. So I immediately get on 10 gallons of uh, distilled water. I haven't taken a pill. I got all their poison pumped out of me. <laughs> and uh, it's been 30 days yesterday since I had the operation. I feel fine. So You're you know, awesome, Francis. That's a great story. Hey, listen, Francis, do me a favor, man. If you'll send an email to ben at ksco.com, uh, and we'll put your mailing address. I'm going to send you out a free Beyond Tangy Tangerine on me. All right? You'll do. Uh, you'll... Yeah, I don't do mail. Why don't you give it to somebody else that really needs right. it, man? I, okay. I, appreciate it. I appreciate it. Have a good year. God bless you, my friend. Take care. Good luck with everything, too, at the bypass surgery. Quadruple bypass. Oh, my goodness. Socrates, what's up, man? Socrates in New Hampshire. Ben, um, I, you, I called last week because I, I believe that we diagnosed uh, probably uh, my immune system was weakest um, and because I was, had insomnia. You know, and so you gave me a good strategy to fight that, and it was successful. Tell me so what, tell, tell the listeners one more time. Just bullet points because okay. I'm running out of time here. Just tell me. So I, took, I was able to take vitamin C. And, and get 12 hours of sleep along with a little bit of zinc piconate. And in 48 hours, well, something that I would expect to take two 
two weeks. God was better in two days. Isn't that awesome? I appreciate that. Oh, that no, was great. no, that's awesome. Thanks for sharing that, soccer. Okay, I appreciate I, uh, it. Uh, Today, I wanted to ask you if I could extend that further. Okay. Uh, my, my diet has been pretty, my, I, I say this in, in the most honest manner, because I've been in, obsessed with nutrition for about 10 years. Okay. But in the past, I would say, three years, my, the, I, there's a correlation with the, uh, my chronic insomnia and weight gain. Is this, yeah. is this the likely for culprit? Is that yes. It's quite, well, it's the, it's, they're connected. They're, they're both caused by the same problem, cortisol, stress. Mm. Something's burdening the, burdening the body. When your body thinks its life is being threatened, it's not going to let you sleep. So you can remember I said start off the program by saying there's these simple mechanisms that are behind everything. Stress, and I hate that word stress because it's almost cliche at this point, but burden on the body will initiate the secretion of hormones that are designed to save you. One of the ways the body thinks it's saving you is by not letting you sleep because presumably if there's a tiger about to bite your head off, you're not supposed to fall asleep. So insomnia is related to the body's desire to keep you alive, to survive, and, and the hormones that are associated with that, specifically cortisol. Weight gain's the same thing. When you, are, when you have weight that you cannot lose, guaranteed hiding behind it is a body that thinks its life is at stake. And this is what inflammation is about. This is what immunity is about. This is about lack of. This is what lack of healing is about. This is what obesity is about. This is what blood sugar changes are about. If you backtrack far enough, you'll find a body that thinks its life is being is being about to be snuffed out. So what you got to do is you got to calm the body down. Now here's the caution, everybody. Here's the caution. When I talk about stress, everybody thinks about mental stress and emotional stress. When I talk about burden and cortisol, everybody thinks about mental and emotional reasons. But there's physical reasons why there's stress. Uh, breathing or lack of breathing can cause it. Uh, degenerative disease can cause it. This is where the circle, the vicious circle and vicious cycle comes in. Stress leads to degenerative disease, which leads to more stress, which leads to more degenerative diseases. So you've got to calm the body down, Socrates. And there's lots of ways to do it. And everybody listening, it's not just Socrates who has to do this. If you're dealing with cancer or heart disease or diabetes, especially cancer, any chronic degenerative disease, you've got to calm the body down. You do it by eliminating food or reducing food or caloric restriction or fasting first because food represents a major burden to the body. So a day or two of fasting. You do it by eliminating problem foods because problem foods are a major stressor on the body. You do it by stabilizing blood sugar because sugar represents a burden and a stress on the body. A little bit of sugar you need. But after that little bit, you've got emergency. And over the course of, uh, of days and weeks and months and years, you get long-term emergency, you get long-term secretion of cortisol. Figuring out how to lower and, and uh, calm the body down, calm down the emergency response is the key, Socrates, behind okay. insomnia, behind immune problems, behind uh, blood pressure issues, behind whatever it is, behind obesity, behind weight gain, calm the body down. Number one, uh, uh, digestive strategies, pro caloric restriction, fasting, and eliminating problem foods. Number two, stabilizing blood sugar. That means eating less of it and then using nutrients that help you process the blood sugar, especially the B vitamins, which are your stress mm. vitamins, FYI, and, mm. and, and water soluble so we pee them out and, and become deficient very readily. Third, make sure you're practicing slow, deep breathing. Fourth, make sure you're moving your body around to circulate the lymph and circulate the blood. Fifth, make sure that you're using mental, emotional, and spiritual strategies to relax the mm. body. Sixth, make sure you're on a nutritional supplement program. And that mm -hmm. means the mighty 90 essential nutrients, but especially water-soluble nutrients, the Bs, C, and your electrolytes, which are all intimately connected to energy and the stress response. Oh, they're all important, but we lose these B-complex, vitamin C, and electrolytes in our urine all the time. And if they're not replaced, it's very easy to be deficient. Socrates, i got to motivate my friend, but you got lots of strategies there. And thanks so much for sharing your success story. I really appreciate it. Take care, bro. Thank you. All right, uh, Virginia in Ohio, you've been holding on forever. I apologize. What's going on? Hi, I called about a week ago, and I started the program you suggested for eczema. Okay. And it's already considerably better. Praise God. Can I get yes. a praise of the Lord, Virginia? But I have another problem. Yes. No, um, I want to hear about the eczema. For, my eczema, head, let's. It rotates to no, one Virginia. Side. Stop, stop, Virginia. I want to talk about the eczema real quick. So yes. you had eczema. What did you do? Because listeners have eczema out there. You share with them. Um, I started the 20,000 units of vitamin A, the vitamin E, and the vitamin D. 
of, you know, the Foods? amount you suggested there, 400 of E. And okay. How about the EFAs? Did you do uh, EFAs? The EFAs, I'm doing nine a day. Nice. And anything with food? Did you start to notice anything with food? Uh, I haven't got that straightened out yet. One question I had is, can you take the supplements while on the elimination diet? Uh, you mean while fasting or while on the elimination diet? Well, on the elimina elimination diet, that's just eliminating foods one by one. That's not a problem. But sometimes people have a concern about fasting and supplementation. Here's the thing about supplements. They're non-caloric. They don't have calories to them. When you're fasting, what you're really doing is you're restricting calories. You're, you're reducing or eliminating calories because calories are work. Okay. However, it doesn't really matter if you took a couple, take a couple days off your supplements. So theoretically, it's not going to make a difference, but if you want to take a couple days off your supplements, it's not the end of the world. The, the most important thing when you're doing your fast is to calm the body down, and the supplements aren't going to, they're neutral in that regard. Plus, I'm rubbing in the vitamin A and the vitamin D. Right on the there from the capsule. capsule. Good for you. Good for you, Virginia. Yeah. You're going to eliminate this entirely. Love, to, love for you to get to the food thing. Yeah. Ask your question real quick because we're going to run out of time. Okay. My, my other problem is my neck and my head rotates to one side, but I can move it back to the other side. It shakes and it causes pain. You're inflamed in there. You've got some swelling in, inside there. And by swelling, I don't mean big swelling. I mean micro inflammation. So you're not going to see the swelling. It'll be microscopic, but it's keeping the, the ligament and the tendons in there from healing, and there's probably some, some uh, pressure. Some of the inflammation is causing some pressure on the nerve. So what you got to do is you got to have the uh, inflammatory system calm down. Usually that means food. It's probably related to the same things that are causing the eczema, and that is that you're eating something that the body is rebelling against. It's always right. the first thing to think about. So that food diary is very critical. Which okay. uh, You might want to throw in some glucosamine, uh, glucogel caps, and don't forget bone soup. Love that bone soup for all inflammatory issues, joint issues, tendon issues, okay, digestive issues. Okay, I have taken some glucogel. Keep taking it. Take lots okay. of it. Okay, and then also okay. yoga or some kind of stretching might help you too. Loose, okay. Be very careful with stretching exercises at the neck area, but still that could be helpful. Hey, okay. I got to go. We're out of time. Thanks so much for calling. Thanks for sharing. Appreciate it, Virginia. All right, that's all the time we have for today on The Bright Side. I'm Pharmacist Ben. We're on the air Monday through Friday, 8 to 9 Pacific and 10 to 11 Central Time. If you're interested in checking out the Longevity products, head over to brightsideben.com, criticalhealthnews.com, or pharmacistben.com. And if you're interested in checking out any of my Truth Treatment products, truthtreatments.com, truthtreatments.com. That's all the time we have for today. Thanks for listening, friends. I'm Pharmacist Ben. We'll be back at you tomorrow with more good health information. Have a beautiful, wonderful, spectacular day. Bye for now.